you're really excited on working on a Witcher 2 project and on the console edition, it's our first console game, so that's a great new experience. It's a great place to have an event for a game like this, just because it's the kind of the setting of the game. The, uh, the gardens outside look a lot like um, I got like textures from The Witcher too, actually, which is quite impressive. But the castle is really in line of The Witcher, the feeling that the game gives. I'm not gonna lie, they've been handing out umbrellas and when no one else was around I was pretending it was a sword. We're most excited about uh, creating new adventures. About four hours of gameplay will be delivered to The Witcher to the pre previous version of the game. We will be compared to um, Skyrim or to um, Dragon Age games. We believe that we're creating something totally unique. We have a different approach to storytelling, non-linearity, mature audience and stuff like that. It's quite clashy, it's the home of Anne Boleyn. I'm looking forward to the tour, because I understand uh, Anne Boleyn's ghost actually haunts this castle. The tour is meant to take us down to the dungeons, which sounds terrifying. So I'm um, hoping to break away from the tour and maybe catch, yeah. catch the ghost. And uh, speak of... I mean, well, I, mean, yeah, I mean, what more proof do you need that Anne Boleyn's ghost is angry with us for defiling her she, birthplace? Yeah, she's channeling her anger through this, uh, through this standee. Push. castle and all the buildings around are are superb. I feel like uh, they're taken from Fable, let's say. For me as a level artist, it's, it's a really great experience and a beautiful place. It's, it's, it's interesting actually um, how little um, the game has been changed by the console port, you know, the soul of it is still there, which is what matters really. Yeah. It's, it's a big story, it's, it's deep RPG elements, it is a nice actions and uh, it, it, looks, it looks good. If you didn't, hadn't been told that it was a PC game, I mean the controls are really intuitive and it's the menu system is really easy to navigate, you wouldn't have thought it was a PC game, they've obviously done quite a lot of work to make it accessible for a console, so I mean I've had a, had a great time with it so far. I think it's just a really great title that console fans are really going to enjoy. It's far better on Xbox, I think it plays. Um, like it should basically. I think there are a lot of issues technically on PC um, that the Xbox controller deals with very well. And I think with the success of stuff like Skyrim and stuff recently they're in for a good treat if they want to check out something that's a little bit more hardcore.